All right, what's up everyone? Today we have a 2019 Airstream Atlas. Model is the Murphy Suite. So we have one slide out on this RV. It's gonna be over on the other side and we'll walk around uh, to see where that's at and we'll see where it's at on the inside. We'll also let you know why this RV is called the Murphy Suite. Um, I'm sure you can guess by now, but we'll uh, show you when we go inside. Now, Airstream has always been famous for making trailers, uh, making their um, old, uh, basically, Airstream trailer uh, trailers that everyone knows of and sees in uh, pictures and on magazines and uh, things like that uh, for being famous for their aluminum alloy uh, cover that they do over the top um, around the whole entire RV. Um, so this is no different. This is a Class B motorhome Airstream. Uh, they've been newer to uh, motorhomes. They have been making them uh, for for some time now, but um, obviously they're again well known for the trailers. But this is no different as far as the actual structure of the RV. It's made with the same material, the aluminum alloy, and we'll see that when we go inside as well. We'll walk around this side and get you another shot of what we have on the other side. This RV is powered by a Mercedes diesel, a 6.2 turbo diesel. So you are gonna actually get a little bit better fuel economy um, in this RV. Although if you're uh, spending money to get one of these, you're probably not worried about the expensive fuel. Although it's always nice to uh, go on long trips and not spend as much on fuel. So before we even walk in, um, talking about that aluminum alloy, you see that on the outside, but um, you also see it just on the door, and I think the door is the best um, place to display um, how basically covered this RV is in it. So um, this is the front of the door, this is the side of the door, and this is the inside of the door. And you can see that aluminum alloy, the same material that they use on their trailers. All right, so walking into this RV right in front of me, we have the couch. Across from that, we have a TV sticking up out of the drawer that uh, or uh, basically table that it's it's in right now um, on the side here that uh, pops up it does have a Bose sounds system speaker above that um, when that goes down you do have a window hiding out behind that in the front here are your driver's seats this RV has got about 24 thousand miles on it it has been used uh, but not too used So uh, the reason why we have a Murphy suite is because behind this couch is actually the Murphy bed. So your main bed is behind this couch. A lot of people think coming in that this couch actually just pulls into the bed, but it doesn't. It's a Murphy suite, so you push a button and it comes down um, with a push of a button right behind that couch. I believe you just have to uh, take off these side cushions and then the uh, bed will come down and uh, lock in place. So right over to the left of that, you have the kitchen, although it is not very big, but of course don't expect a big kitchen when you know, you're know you in a class B that's only 25 feet in length. Let's close this door so we don't get so much background noise. Um, so with the kitchen, we have your propane uh, two burners right here. Um, surprisingly enough, they don't have, uh, they're not electric. They are propane still. You have a propane. Uh, tank as well as a generator on this RV um, in this back uh, corner here. You have uh, garbage. I always love how um, when an RV puts a, a Counter garbage so you can uh, basically take anything that's on the counter pick that up and uh, Throw it all into the garbage that way as opposed to actually picking it up off the counter or sliding it off the counter Into the garbage um, and hopefully getting in the garbage you have it right there. Um, this is your sink have to go with stainless steel to match the rest of the RV. So you kind of have like a uh, darker wood uh, finish through here throughout. And so these cabinets, um, they are push knob cabinets. So all of them um, will be flush with uh, the cabinets until you want to pull them out. And then uh, you push them and you pull them. Here's a closet space back here for you. I really like what they did with this uh, back bathroom. It almost seems like because it would it's a B that it wouldn't have 
allow for a lot of room in the shower. This shower is actually fairly big, um, and it's nice that it's just the placement, I think, of how they put everything back here. Um, that it's, you know, it's just separate by itself, that you have a lots of leg room for the toilet here. Uh, but at the same token, um, this shower, you know, is, um, is, is just kind of spacious still, um, even though it is a corner shower. So, uh, we just have some, you know, your control panels here. You have one in the front, um, that will also be what controls the uh, Murphy bed, just more uh, storage throughout. You do have some pretty good storage inside of the RV. I will say you don't have almost any storage outside of the RV. Um, so, you know, for, for a B anyways. Um, so if you have, sorry about that, like I was saying. Um, so if you have anything that needs to be stored, uh, just remember that it's gonna be stored inside of uh, in, you know, the uh, cabinets in here you have uh, as opposed to outside you have some nice uh, pull out uh, drawers now this is a uh, again a um, you've seen this you saw this in the video with the newel um, you have kind of a cedar closet inlay here the reason that they do that is to help keep out moisture from your clothing um, they don't follow to do that with the rest of the drawers throughout um, just wood because um, those are obviously hanging uh, clothes versus something that's just sitting in the cabinets. You do have um, a pantry that pulls out right next to this refrigerator here. And let's shut this door and see what it looks like. Now, I really like this right here, uh, this <laughs> frosted glass uh, window that they put in here to uh, kind of, it almost looks like a ship, um, a ship door that uh, closes off there for the bathroom. Very cool, very um, nice touch. Um, the, I didn't have any trouble getting in, any light in here before. Um, so, you know, even though I have, you know, I have lights on in here, even when I had lights off um, with the windows and everything that are in here, I didn't have any trouble with that, so. All right, guys, as always, thanks for watching. Um, if you have any questions about this video, please leave your comments in the comments section. Um, like the video, and if you have any questions, you can email the email listed in the description. Thanks for watching.